Aloha Pepsi-Cola. I'm doing a first here. I am now in a cemetery. Yeah. Hopefully the light's picking up. Yeah. I've never wandered around in a cemetery at night, actually. I know. I <laughs> I guess I'm just not as goth as I thought I was. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a goth poser. But yeah, I've never wandered around a cemetery at night, so I thought I would do a little wandering here. Now this is not the witching hour. It's just 10 p.m. currently, so I don't think, I'm, I don't think that there'd be any paranormal activity but it is wet so I, for whatever reason I guess spirits come out more around water I that's what I've heard from yeah the paranormal people So maybe there's a higher chance I might see some paranormal activity. Now, yeah, yeah, I'd like to uh, do a cemetery, a graveyard. Out somewhere really rural. You know, just out in the middle of nowhere, way out in the boonies. So I think that'd be great. Damn. Well, there are there is some uh, gunfire going off. Just don't be firing this way, please. <laughs> Do got some uh, moonlight though. Yeah. Hopefully enough is being picked up here. This camera does not pick up light very well in the dark areas. It's, uh, I think this came with some flashlight or whatever. It has like uh, three different brightnesses to it. That's, that's interesting. Hmm. So this is a cemetery I have been to before. So this is the Robison Cemetery. I've done a video here before. Whew, man, some of these reflective things do kind of freak me, freak me a little bit. So I, I was pulling in. One of the gravestones is really reflective. So yeah, I just saw a ghost car right next to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not really feeling it. Not really feeling it. Seems pretty chill right now.
one's all tipped over. Still an interesting experience, so I can't believe I've never done this before. Just wandering around a graveyard at nighttime. Yeah, it's like I think one just really far away from everything would be really good. <laughs> Just dead silent all around. I need to find a cemetery like that. I think that'd, be, that'd make for a good one. Carter. some flowers recently. It's Robinson. You know, that's actually not true though. Like I I have been at a cemetery before during nighttime. Now that I think about it, I've actually done uh left some uh flowers for my great grandparents. And they have a cemetery. They live. They are. They're buried in a cemetery, kind of nearby Lafayette and Clark's Hill and all that area. So I have left uh, some flowers as their grave before. You know, it's it was evening, but it was definitely like when it's after the sun went down. So all right, I have done that before. Yeah, which I'll have to. Yeah, I can do that cemetery someday. It's around that. It's around that area. I'm still waiting on these these out this uh these allergies that come and go finally. <laughs> It's just kind of lingering lightly, but I just know that sooner or later <laughs> I'm going to really get attacked by it. All I've been getting is the sniffs and the coughs sometimes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I like that right there. How that, that gravestone's just reflective. God, that's some freaky, freaky shit. <laughs> yeah. Where is that light coming from? Oh, probably the, the moon, probably. It's not me. Yeah, some of these gravestones are just really reflective. by the ground there. It's kind of sad. Here. See, here's proof of me walking around it. Alright. <laughs> well, this has been Corey. And a little wonder around Robinson Cemetery at nighttime. Well, Everybody have a good Saturday night, 
and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a spooktaculous night. See ya.